Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was kind of an ironic title when you think about it. The game was riddled with DEI's care of Sweet Baby Inc., included a scene where Conroy performed Arkham series Batman was unceremoniously gunned down by Harley Bloody Quinn, and was released broken with a journo mode save file that allowed gamers to see the entire story without ever playing a second of the game. It was the perfect storm, really, but uh, it's not necessarily proof of it being ironic. The irony comes because it began the self-deletion of Rocksteady Games and exposed the league of social justice-obsessed DEI companies to gamers everywhere, resulting in our reuniting and dedication of ourselves to destroying social justice warriors and DEI grifters wherever we see them in the industry. Gamergate forever, by the way. But now, given the utter disaster that was Suicide Squad KJL, Rocksteady is rumoured to be planning to try and go back to its roots with a new Batman game. But here are the problems. The mass layoffs of the QA division mean that, well, the quality is going to have dipped even further than it already had. There are, of course, more layoffs likely to come too, and there's the fact that the Rocksteady company is a ship of Theseus, effectively that includes almost none of the same people that made the initial Arkham games that people loved so very much. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to check out an article summarizing this rumor that the latest thing to come out of Rocksteady will be a new Batman game. Couple of questions. I mean, you killed Batman in your universe, so what are you going to do about that? Is it going to be another universe of Batman? Because I'm pretty sure that's not what people are looking for. And other questions, of course, like, is this going to be riddled with DEI since Warner Brothers and Rocksteady are still listed as partners with Sweet Baby Inc.? Well, I don't know, but let's find out. If you're liking the video, be kind. Hit like, helps others to find it in the algorithm, which helps me to help you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion, courtesy of me and the Griff Force. Let's go. All right. After Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League's abysmal failure, Rocksteady rumored to be working on a new Batman game. How do you justify that? A Batman game. In this day and age. Rocksteady Studios, the developer of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and various Batman Arkham games, is rumoured to be working on a new Batman game. <clears throat> okay, well that of course is Arkham City that we can see right here. Ex-user Special Nick claims that Rocksteady is working on a new Batman game. He wrote, not sure which studio people's dream is, but I heard Rocksteady are back making it. Uh, I also think Sony are trying to money hat it, lol. Well, there you go. <clears throat> so basically what happened was the Game Awards said, name your dream game developer for the next Batman game. And this person decided to reply that they'd heard Rocksteady are back making another Batman game. Now, I don't know what kind of evidence there is to support this, but it does seem to be making some waves. Maybe it's a leak just to see if people know. And maybe it's a leak to see how people feel. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, another response, uh, someone else cast doubt on it. Someone said Arkham Origins remaster of the Arkham Trilogy PS5 version because I doubt it's a new game. Someone said, not sure why you doubt it, but I heard new game. Rumor comes in the wake, of course, of Rocksteady's most recent release, Suicide Squad KJL, becoming a financial disaster. Apparently, it took a $200 million impairment charge on the loss of sales of this game. Now, of course, we all looked at the charts. The game started off well enough, but within a day had lost at least half to three quarters of the player base. People were absolutely furious about the disrespect for Superman and other characters like Flash, but especially... Especially 
for what Rocksteady did to the Batman they created. Don't forget, this was made by a company who loved Batman so much that they created their own universe, cast the same people as the animated series, made it darker, grittier, bigger, more puzzling, more challenging concepts like the asylum being literally run by the inmates. <clears throat> brilliant stuff. Really, really brilliant game. But what happened next? Well, after they finished making all of those games, they made Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, where they had Harley Quinn walk up to Batman and complain to him about the emotional damage that he had done to supervillains, mass murderers, bank robbers, and all kinds of scum of the earth like that, before shooting him in the face. Pathetic. This started Gamergate 2. It did. That's what did it. It was that. It was Kevin Conroy's death, followed by the utter disrespect of his final vocal performance. That is what made people so bloody angry. They wanted to know why this had happened, and that led them to Sweet Baby Inc. And since Sweet Baby Inc. is still listing them as partners, are we really confident that Rocksteady could create a new Batman game worth a damn? Worse than that. No one is left at Rocksteady who made the Arkham games. It's like the, the analogy of the broom. I love this broom. I've had it for 80 years. Really? Yes. Well, I've had to change the handle a few times and I've had to change the brush a few times too. But I really like this broom. Spoilers. It ain't the same broom. And you can call yourselves Rocksteady all you want. But if the people who love Batman in the first place ain't there, then you're only going to be able to trick normies. Because gamers are paying more attention now than we've ever paid in our lives to critically thinking about the games industry. You're going to have to get up bloody early to get one over on gamers, especially if you are rock steady games. We will be watching. We will be staring at you and wondering what you're doing, especially since the last thing they released was Lesbian Mrs. Freeze for Suicide Squad, which did absolutely nothing to help them whatsoever. And there's the scene itself. Harley Quinn kills Batman. Batman should not be that powerless. Even the whole concept of Brainiac taking over is a utter cringe. Anyway, a couple of days after Dark, Varadark, had an initial rumor about something along the lines of half of Rocksteady being shit-canned, Jason Schreier at Bloomberg reported that Rocksteady was planning to pitch a new single-player game, which would return Rocksteady to its roots. A new Batman game would probably fit that description. But what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans. If you'd like to see more of me, I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. Check out the Discord link below and I'll chat to you next time. Enough is enough. We draw the line. We'll take back the stories to